all the following statements about carbon dioxide are true except. So we want to find the one statement that isn't true and the four that are true and pick the one that isn't. It can be repaired by the action of acid on limestone. Yep, this is one of those factoids you definitely want to keep in mind, the action of acids on carbonates. So, um, for instance, uh, this would be the equation for this one. Calcium carbonate plus two hydrochloric acids going to the salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. So this is the equation that describes A. So this is true and get rid of it. B, it is used to extinguish fires. Yep, fire extinguishers have CO2 in them. It dissolves in water in room temperature. Yep, so this is the formation of carbonic acid. So CO2 plus H2O goes to H2CO3. This is soda water. So that's true. It sublimes rather than melts at 20 C and 1 atmosphere pressure. Yep, so solid CO2 will go right to the gas state without going... Uh, to the liquid state in the intermediate into the intermediate step uh, and that happens at those rates or at those uh, conditions so yep that's true so hopefully e is false it is less dense than air at a given temperature and pressure that is indeed true so air is a mixture of a lot of gases but primarily nitrogen and oxygen and nitrogen has a molar mass of 28 grams and oxygen has a molar mass of 32 grams and remember in certain given conditions pressure temperature and volume will all be the same. So the only thing that's going to differ about these guys is their masses. And the heavier the gas is, molar mass speaking, uh, the more dense it's going to be. And now carbon dioxide, it's got a molar mass of 44 grams per mole. So this means that at you know any condition, when you've got some mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, uh, these two are going to be less dense than this guy. So actually this is false because it's more dense than air. Uh, yep. So the answer to that one is E.